So I just wanted to make a quick little video to uh, express my gratitude and thanks for all of the people that I've been able to connect with on through YouTube. So I'll probably title this Thank You YouTube in an opposition with my Fuck You YouTube video, which uh, has a lot of views for for my channel which uh, my channel is, I don't know I don't I don't consider it my channel or anything it's just it's just me and Yeah, so thank you, YouTube. Thank you uh, to all the people that I've been able to connect with. Uh, the like-minded and like-hearted people. It's, uh, it's been very transformative. And um, not to sound like a total fucking fanboy or whatever, but obviously I have to give thanks uh where it is due, and that's to Zen App Man, because that seemed to really uh, be the catalyst for me to start making uh, these videos. I also drew inspiration from uh, the genie, my engine as well, uh, to just uh, put myself out there a little bit and connect, and that's really helped. Uh, Help to release, uh, help to remind myself of what is real because unfortunately, like the environment that I'm surrounded in, the kind of work that I do, uh, I'm not always <laughs> surrounded by uh, competent. 2.22 a.m. or uh, genuine or people that will stop to uh, take the time to, just to take a breath for themselves and, and feel so and this is just a uh, microcosm of the macro that is like spread out worldwide I don't think that it's just, I, I know that it's not just this place or my environment. Like, yes, it's better some places, yes, it's worse some places. So, having to do that and be around people that are so disconnected uh, it's it's very disheartening more than anything more than uh, having things thrown at me or certain energies thrown at me uh, it's more just disheartening that they would do that to anyone like I don't, I don't really care that it's being done to me as much as that um, by doing it to me, like they're doing it to themselves, so that, that, uh, that's why it hurts. That's why it hurts me, and that's also a part of waking up. Uh, why things get more painful a lot of the times uh, when we realize uh, the things that we are doing to ourselves that it's all us. That when people act out, like they are really just hurting themselves essentially so it's it's nice to be able to connect with people and uh, expand in awareness and in love I'm very grateful for that so yeah I hope you all have a uh, Lovely Thursday, Thanksgiving, but really like 
<laughs> it's just a like gluttony day for uh, most most Americans. But um, just I hope that is a reminder, like that you can always be thankful, and you should always be thankful, like every day, every moment. Uh, realize the gifts that you have been given and that you give yourself whenever you accept and allow those things in and that's the hardest part is to let go of the fear the guilt the shame and to allow life to present itself to you in a pure form and to respond to that in a pure manner and once we do that then we, we uh, start rowing our boat gently down the stream and we start living our dream and, and realizing just how much control and power we have and uh, the the main message with a lot of my uh, stuff I put out is uh, self-empowerment, realize what you are, and that was a lot uh, to do with uh, the video on uh, asking for protection or seeking things outside of yourself, and I do think that can be a trap if you uh, resort to that kind of that mode to where you are and this is also comes down to our uh, our indoctrination system we have been taught to think a certain way we have been taught to ask for things that we need instead of uh, realizing that we we can find the answers ourselves the solutions are always right there it's just a question of are you willing to look with clear eyes and in a genuine heart so it's not always gonna be a bad thing and it's all uh, per perception it, it's how you perceive they ask you if, if you are constantly going towards a certain deity um, asking for guidance or help that can lead to um, it can bleed into other aspects of your life and it, it can disempower you but if you realize what you're doing and you and you know your own power and then from that point you have a heartfelt connection or request or yes I will use the word prayer to God or the universe or anything this is going to um, potentially stimulate within you feelings of guidance or protection or help you realize the path that you want to be on and this is the, the key the main thing is that these things are coming from within they're not coming from without even if you think that you are asking um, something outside of you the inspirations uh, they start from within first it starts from you having to still yourself and being genuine and being vulnerable and then allowing the message to come forth and it doesn't matter if you want to perceive that if whenever you receive a message or a feeling or an intuition if you want to perceive that as coming from a guide or a god or a deity the main thing is, is that you are having that experience and 
you are feeling that and you are attuning with that but again if you continue attaching something outside of yourself that you have to keep going to that for this thing that's happening within you then that will become a crutch and, and you, all you have to do is look to uh, you know I don't know like ugh, I'm tired of talking look around you like it's it's all it's all blatantly obvious all around you it's all been a setup since day one since your conception it's like the main message is from me is, is realize what you are and, and empower yourself you have everything that you've ever needed within you you just have to remember that and remember how to tap into that okay so yeah thank you all and until next time Take care, be good to one another, and be good to yourselves.